Welcome back, Hunters. I'm the Survival Fist, and we return to Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate. <clears throat> so last episode, we had taken down the Royal Guard of Celtis Queen and her minion, the Celtis. Now we actually have a variety of monsters we could go after. I'm just, yeah, I've got to put some stuff away. Then I'm going to take a look at the quest roster and see what we'll do first. I think we're probably going to be doing a number of poison monsters today, or at least try to. It's hard to say exactly how well it'll go. Now yeah, buy that, and then we'll pick up the rest from the merchant. But there's the Iodrome I want to hunt, and then there's also a Yongaruga I can try hunting too. So I'm just going to get ourselves stocked up proper on things again. I think that's everything. Okay, and we'll check in with Sophia to see what we have available. Ah, oh, good news, Doodle. The Doodle fan club has never had a higher membership. Every one of us is rooting for you while you take on that nasty Tigrex. And by every one of us, I mean one of us, because I am the only member of the Doodle fan club. Aw. Okay, so... I still had fun... Okay, I think... Yeah, there wasn't really anything in the four stars to handle. I had Iodrome... Um, Slate 8 Io Prey. And then I think just a few. Yeah, so then there's a Tigrex. So we'll definitely start with the Iodrome here. And to make sure I have cool drinks, I do. Perfect. Then we'll eat and head out. Depending on how long this takes, I'll try squeezing two monsters in this episode. But we'll have to see. Ah, uh, let's go for temper. And then, of course, we'll skip the blurry cutscene. There we are. Now, Iodrome, I'm really not expecting to be that hard or that long of a hunt. Especially, well, I was going to say especially with the Mightning, but Pierce shots aren't really the best for this size of monster. They're, the Iodrome, well, any of the drones are really tiny. But we'll get ourselves started with normal two and just see. I'm actually not... Ooh, one thing I should also take a good look at is how the slag toths have changed color. Because I do like how these guys almost like blend into their environment. Like in the flooded forest, they have a much more uh, green, lush sort of look to them. But now in the volcanic hollow, it's almost like they've got like soot and ash covering them. It's kind of neat to see. Oh, and just where we encountered the Gendrome, this is where we're going to encounter Iodrome for the first time. Oh, poor Slag Doth. It's not the Great Rogi going after them, it's another poison monster, the Iodrome. Let's <laughs> get to a stop right in front of us. No, actually, it's still alive. I didn't realize that. Oh, actually, I could use pellet two on this, so that's what we're going to do. Let me just. Oh, right, got a. There's. Okay, there we go. Out. Okay. Oh, crap. I think some of the inputs are getting a little messed up there. Just trying to see, what is the subquest? Because I know there is one. Okay, five Iopray. That shouldn't be too hard to do, given the amount that we're already starting with here. No, and careful of that, because that's their pinning attack. There we go. And always brace at the start, just in case. But we got lucky on this one. Yeah, we're not even going to have to brace at all. There we are. Now 
You know what? I think it'd actually be better to use the normal twos on. Oh, come on. What's going on with you? Good lord. Controller, work for me, please. Oh yeah, if I can get these last two, I think that'll actually be the subquest already done. Oh sure, now I have a big group of them here that the that the pellet two would have been perfect on. Oh. Right, try to. Oof. Okay, got a little bit dicey there for a moment, but I think we're going to be fine. Yeah, we'll be fine. Although he's being a little bit of a nuisance with that attack. Now, would you. S God, if the controller would stop. Zooming me in like that. I'm hoping maybe it's just this first hunt or something. All right, careful of that, because I don't want to get pinned. I do want to try breaking that crest, though, so I think a little bit more. And we should see that snap off him. There we go. Yeah, none of the drone fights are really that hard. It's just that some can be a little more annoying because of the statuses they use. Or their little minions keep blocking the president. There we go. Snag that. And then we'll go take him on proper. And take him out. Yeah, you just go on your way. Ah, jeez. I have to see about even unplugging the controller for a moment. We'll see if that keeps up or not, though. Okay, so, there you are. Yeah, you're not the only one who can jump and miss, but still. There we go. And let's see. Oh, should have braced. It's when I say I should brace to start that it doesn't do anything, and then when I don't, they actually do something. There we go. Oh, what is going on? I'm going to have to unplug the controller. I don't know what's going on with it. Okay, there we go. Oh. And let's start carving you. And then we'll just try a quick little unplug and plug in. Hopefully that will resolve all the controller issues I've had. Okay. Quick unplug. And a quick plug back in, and hopefully that'll do it. Smack these guys around a little. Really? Uh, hopefully it's not too bad next hunt. I don't know what's going on with it. Come on, let me smack one of them. Oh, it wasn't quite going to let me smack another, but there we go. Iodrome taken care of, and I think we do have enough time to go on that expedition for Yongaruga. Because with Yon, I'm going to be able to get the Pierce 1s going, and 
those have been shredding through monsters pretty easily. Nice amount of materials. I think I need the Iodrome Hides for the next uh, Tetsukabra Bowgun upgrade. Yeah, Iodrome, Toxic Presence, and now on Expeditions. Okay. Save the game there. Oh. What do you have to say, Waikun? Ah, oh, Hunter, splendid timing. Street Cook asked me if I could get him his hands on higher quality fish. I need to gather just a few small things to make it come true, check the requests. Okay, nothing too hard, it seems. Ah, uh, did to do. Ah, oh, just need some frost sacks. That one probably won't be that hard to get. Oh, excuse me. Right, let's put away some stuff. Actually, you know what? I'll buy that from the merchant. That's one thing I have to do is actually stockpile some uh, items into my box. I haven't really done that since starting the series. Okay, those are good. Let's just take a look at upgrading the one bow gun. Yeah, here we go to the Shira Bale. That puts it up to 210. And. Doesn't really give anything that new to it, does it? Just a little bit of capacity in the Pelt and Craig, so it's not that much, but we'll still do it anyway. And then that gets the Ratatat Drum Cannon. So that'll be a high rank weapon, yeah. Okay, so we've got at least that one ready for its high rank whenever we reach there. Um, that one we need... Oh, Garuga stuff, so that'll be points towards that. Um, Celtus Queen stuff, so I might be able to work at that one in my own time. Rathian Spikes. That's high rank, that's high rank. Okay. And, you know what, I'll try quick, uh, take a quick peek at the armor. Actually, not sure how far back the Iodrome stuff might be. Yeah, it is a while back because of, uh, it's basically just another recolor of the base Genprey, Flossa Prey sort of look. Okay, well that's done. We need to buy our ammo still. Forgot to do that. Then we'll go after Garuga. There we go. And a little bit more. Perfect. Okay, we're all set to go after the Psycho Chicken. Good. Oh, just the same thing as last time. Okay, so Garuga is... Yeah, so that one's our urgent. And I do gotta be careful, because Garuga, no matter the generation, is one that can actually put you... It'll surprise you with how crazy it is. Iceborne definitely had a pretty unique version of him. And Generations Ultimate even gave him the Deadeye Garuga. So we'll, again, be cautious as we go about and just see how things go. Try to gather what we can, and then we'll start with Pierce Ones. Oh, no, I want to just crouch so I can gather this a little quicker. That is a trick from the older generations of Monster Hunter, is if you actually are crouched, you seem to be able to gather materials a little faster than going from standing. Okay, so how far do we gotta go before we'll encounter Garuga? Not at all, as soon as we leave. Oh, this is actually one of the more interesting intros, too. Little Conchu. Surprisingly, they're leaving us alone! Conchu never do that in game. Oh! Even the Kutku's leaving us alone. And that's why. Meet the Psycho Chicken. Oh, actually... This one looks wounded. 
Yeah, the eye and the ear. I don't know if it's just a specialty because of this first, like, intro? Oh, jeez. Basically starting it off right with attacking. Yeah, I gotta be careful. I'm gonna be getting pretty greedy with these shots, I think. Nope. And that's an angry. So now we can expect fireballs. Oh, that, man, that's the one I always hated from Garuga. It's gonna be so hard to actually dodge it properly. Ow. Yeah, already it's hit for a pretty good amount. And, okay, I don't have any paintballs. I was just going to try to... Out. No, oh, I did not. Okay, having the controller do its weird little thing on Garuga is definitely not appreciated. I do really got to be careful. Because, again, it's a lot faster than you'd expect for the rank you fight it at. Okay, at least there's a flinch on it. Oh, and another. Now, yeah, this is what I was waiting for. This is where we can just unload with the, uh, mightning on it. Already got the two part breaks I was really looking for. And I can just keep going with all my pierces. Or, I did for a while, at least. Okay. Yeah, so that's it going to be back to Enrage, I believe. Oh! No, I think it's flying out of the area. Okay, so we'll snag the shiny and then keep on it, but... Yeah, Garuga, don't underestimate it no matter the rank you encounter it. It can still give you a little bit of a run for your money. And I really gotta... I don't know what it is about this controller. It just does not like to respond as it should. Oh, time wise, eh, not doing too shabby. I honestly don't think Ruga has that much health left. If we've. Oh, wrong way. If we've already broken off the, like, the beak and the other ear, I think it should be pretty quick to go down. Just trying to look around my mic stand for the next area. Okay, so it's not here. So maybe it's in the next region. 
Oh, no, it is here. I just saw his head peeking over the wall. And I missed it. And now we're playing the up and down game. Yeah, this was something that came in with Monster Hunter of just like trying to figure out what level the monster would be on. Oh! Actually smacked the altar off midair. Okay, yeah, come down here. Thank you. Now I'm going to go back up again. Oh, didn't actually mount it. I was kind of hoping I would have. Ow. Okay, I think it's actually pretty low on health. It's already, like, instant raging. Oh, good work, Runa. Got a... Oh, and I think it's out of the area again. Okay, it is. I just don't know if it's going forward or back. Kind of makes me wish I had a paintball. But let's see, is it in the next spot? Yeah, it is. And it is limping. Okay, it shouldn't be very long now. No, actually... Now, you Velocipray, don't wake it up. I'm going to try to mount it from here. Well, I smacked it. Did not get them out, though. Oh yeah, there's not... I don't see any good areas. That was one of the problems about this too, for like... Mounting mechanics and that is... Oh, well, that was a fail. I might as well just... You know what? I'm not even going to mess around too much more. Literally, not much more at all. That was one of my issues with mounting, is that it came so good to get... You kind of just delayed the hunt trying for it, even though you sh don't need to. Like, that's more just me being an idiot than anything else, but still. This kind of also then lends into how I didn't like the Clutch Claw's new use in, uh, or, well, the Clutch Claw in Iceborne at all. Almost like a gatekeeping measure. But at least back in this generation, it's more just personal how you do for things. Oh, I guess Lost Grace actually can't get up here. We'll let them attack each other, actually, in trying. And let me just get ourselves into a nice pose with our newly hunted an or monster. There we go. Nice pose like that, just to show off that we've hunted ourselves Yangaruga. No, there we go. Runa, I wish you weren't in the beak. You kind of ruined the trophy shot. But there we go. A couple monsters down and another great episode of Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate. Yeah, so we got scale, shell, wing, another wing, another, oh, part of the main, a sharpened beak, a scale, nice little outings worth. Yeah, Yangaruga, Anathema, and Groga on expeditions. A nice episode to get a couple monsters down and in. Next one, though, is going to be up against Tigrex with a Frenzy Outbreak. So that's going to be a very interesting episode. But for now, thank you guys for joining me on this episode of Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate. Let's just wave you off. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to give it a like. And if you have any comments, tips, or tricks, be sure to leave it all in the comments right down below. And try to respond to any questions or feedback as soon as they arrive on the channel. And until I do catch you all in the next video, though, survivors and hunters, please remember, as always, to take care, stay alive, and happy hunting.